It is no secret that the Fuhrer embodied the essence of brutality, but there were still those who seemed hypnotized by him and saw him as a god. But today, I am going to tell you about those women who were in his service and who knew how to earn a place in hell due to their limitless cruelty. They mercilessly tortured and killed Jews held in concentration camps with the sole purpose of pleasing Hitler and helping him to achieve his goals. This is the blacklist of the most bloodthirsty Nazi women. Maria Mandel. She was undoubtedly the most bloodthirsty of them all. At least 500,000 deaths of Jews, gypsies, and other political prisoners are attributed to her. She trained as a prison guard in 1938 in Lichtenberg. On October 7, 1942, she was sent to Auschwitz, where she was promoted to camp chief and earned the nickname the Beast of Auschwitz. Mandel was in charge of choosing who would be the Jews who would go to the gas chamber, and she also ordered the creation of the Auschwitz Orchestra, composed of prisoners, with the sole purpose of satisfying her taste for music. She was arrested on August 10, 1945 by the Americans, who extradited her to Poland. A court in Krakow sentenced her to be hanged, and she died on January 24, 1948, at the age of 36. Ilse Koch she was known as the Witch of Buchenwald. She was the wife of Karl Koch, SS colonel and commandant of the Buchenwald concentration camp, where she was one of the supervisors. Ilse was in charge of selecting prisoners with tattoos to be murdered and collected lamps, gloves, bags, and book covers made from the skin of the executed. She was sentenced to life imprisonment, but chose to commit suicide in prison on September 1, 1967, at the age of 60. Irma Gresse. The mere fact of knowing the nicknames by which she was known sends shivers down our spines. She was called the Beautiful Beast, the Bitch of Belsen, the Cancer Burr, or the Angel of Death. Gracie earned her place in history because of the sadistic methods she employed against Jews while serving as supervisor of the Auschwitz, Bergen-Belsen, and Ravensbrück concentration camps. Irma Gracie let Jewish women be attacked by dogs and sexually abused, tortured children and beat them, and finally executed them in cold blood with a pistol. She was arrested on April 15, 1945, and sentenced to death by hanging on December 13 of that year. She was 22 years old. Her body was cremated and her ashes thrown down a sewer. Violette Morris. Violette had incredible physical strength, so she practiced sports such as boxing, swimming, and car racing. She even removed her breasts to be more comfortable in the cars she drove. From 1923 onwards, her bisexuality was evident as she cut her hair and dressed as a man. It was for this reason that in 1928, the French Federation prohibited her from participating in the Olympic Games. In 1936, she was guest of honor at the Berlin Olympics, and there she fell in love with Nazism. When she returned to France, she did so as a spy for Germany. When she managed to infiltrate the French resistance, she earned the nickname, the Hyena of the Gestapo. On April 26, 1944, he was ambushed and killed. His remains were thrown into a mass grave. He died at the age of 51. Juana Bormann. She enlisted in the SS in 1938 and worked as a supervisor in the concentration camps of Lichtenberg, Ravensbrück, and Auschwitz, where she arrived in 1942. Because of her sadism, she earned the nickname the Dog Woman, as she would release her German shepherd to attack Jews. In 1945, she arrived at Bergen-Belsen, but after the capture of this place by the British Army, Juana was condemned to die on the gallows on December 13, 1945, at the age of 52. Elizabeth Falkenrath. She enlisted as a volunteer to serve Germany in World War II. She was in Ravensbrück and then was taken to Auschwitz. Falkenrath was directly involved in the selection and abuse of many camp inmates. In fact, she was accused of ordering at least three executions by hanging in 1944. Sometime later, Elizabeth was transferred to Bergen-Belsen, but as a staff supervisor. After her arrest in 1945, she was sentenced to death by hanging in Hamelin Prison, alongside other Nazi war criminals, such as Irma Gresse, on December 13, 1945, at the age of 26. Hermine Ryan Braunsteiner. 
She was in charge of selecting the victims who would go to the gas chamber in the Maidanic concentration camp. She was nicknamed the Mayor because she killed the prisoners by kicking them, but with boots reinforced with iron. In 1973, when she was living in the United States, the German government accused Hermann of being indirectly responsible for 200,000 deaths and requested her extradition. In 1981, she was sentenced to life imprisonment, but was released from prison four years later due to complications related to diabetes, which cost her the amputation of a leg. She died on April 19, 1999, at the age of 80. Johanna Langefeld. She was one of the first women to work at Ravensbrück and the first to be appointed chief guard. Johanna was known for imposing all kinds of cruel punishments on the prisoners, such as keeping them standing for hours in the rain and cold, with hardly any clothes on for hours on end. He also flogged them for long periods of time. However, she was against using these women as test subjects for scientific experiments, so she was soon replaced in her position because she was too soft. She died on January 26, 1974, at the age of 74. Dorothea Binns. According to the prisoners, she was beautiful, but she transformed herself when it came to beating or torturing the prisoners in the punishment block of the Ravensbrück camp. Her practices were cruel, as she used to drench them with ice water and then beat them. Among her achievements was the construction of a room in which the babies born to the prisoners were left to die. She was tried and hanged in Hamelin at the age of 27 on May 2, 1947, for war crimes. Hertha Oberhäuser. She was a Nazi doctor who practiced her specialty, dermatology, at the Ravensbrück concentration camp for women from 1940 to 1943. What she did was to inflict wounds on prisoners and make them infected, to simulate those suffered by German soldiers in combat. He used rusty nails, wood, and glass splinters. She also experimented on children from whom she removed vital organs. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison, although she was released after 10 years for good behavior. She returned to practice medicine in Germany, but was stripped of her license in 1958 when a Holocaust survivor recognized her. She died on January 24, 1978, at the age of 66, 